So when he comes running through, he's already thinking he's going to be going right on down the bank through and yada yada, and he's going to get right in here and he's going to hit this wire. That's it. If I fall in this pond, core, we'll have it on. They better not be have it laughing. recorded. These muskrats, although they'll take to that open water. When they're feeding, they're focused on that bank, digging and pulling those roots out and eating roots, and they're working right down the bank. Down there, everything we set today, as long as those those dogs don't freeze, if we don't get rain on them and those dogs don't freeze, they'll fire. What's today, Cor? 31st. Last day of January. Yep. About a week and a half ago. Me and your mama filmed opening a hive of bees doing an inspection. You did? Which hive? Yep. Uh, the one there, there by the shop. Cora and I are up at the pond today as she said january the 31st there's always uh things to do on the farm today we're going to do a little muskrat trapping up here at the pond the muskrats have moved into some old beaver dens the beaver and the muskrat both dig when they den they dig in banks and den the problem with that in your livestock ponds is that they get them to leaking and when those ponds start leaking you lose valuable water in the summer due to the water going back in these dugout holes and then leaching out below the the water surface so it's pulling on your pond constantly but uh, we thought we'd bring you with us and uh Cora's going to set some traps I'm going to show her how and and we're going to see if we can catch a few of these muskrats out here so y'all stay with us this, this ought to be fun we've always got a little something to do that's i bet that's a reminder on mama's phone now yeah and all the layers so this is your stand okay. that holds your is this not like the one that we did the other day it's like that but different so these are little 110 kind of bear traps this is the trigger okay mm -hmm. this is the trigger latch trigger dog you want to keep this out in here in the middle okay. close this up you see the notches in the latch yeah okay those notches fit what notch do you put it on well Sometimes I put it in the middle. Sometimes I put it on the end. Um, it kind of varies on making the trap fire a little faster or a little slower. Uh, it seems like the, the tighter you go back in notches, the more tension, the more bound up this trap is. So I just try to catch it in about the middle so I get a, a good fire. Um, we take our ring, just run your chap chain down over that mm -hmm. take your trap is going to be set within the confines of this okay okay so does that stick down into the water this is going to go down into the ground and that's going to let your trap be supported okay okay so we're going to run this up like this we're going to bring this trap down, fold it, and we're going to let this little support set right on that center pivot. You got to spring it just a little bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you see how we're not exactly square? Yeah. We can slide this up and down and adjust that. Now see how you're setting the square mm -hmm. in how here? How does it trigger it for it to go Well, up? when Mr. Muskrat or Mink 
enters this okay so when he when he starts in he's going to hit these 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 wires okay that's about the size he feels like he can go through that okay and we're going to put it in blind sets and on runs he's already going so he's probably going to have a little momentum going and when he gets to this this will be shoved down at least to here mm -hmm. in the bottom in the mud or a run or on a dry set but he's going to come through and when he gets to there if i had something like, hey hand me my, my pole there and i'll show you So when it comes running through, he's already thinking he's going to be going right on down the bank through and yada yada, and he's going to get right in here and he's going to hit this wire. And that's it. Okay. So then. And that's the how that works. This that didn't move. leave the pivot. This slammed shut, hopefully right behind his head. Quick, painless death. Plus, if it's underwater, if the if the snap trap didn't break his neck, he drowned it. Okay, so it's about How long will it take humane to as it'll be. It'll be over on just depending on how much air he had in his lungs. Be a be it'll be quick. Okay. So you think you can rig one of them up like that? I've got you a few spots that I picked up yesterday put them in. Okay, there's your snake. And there's your trap. I put this part right here, right? Yep, but you need to set your trap too. So you're right, go ahead and drop that on there. It won't hurt anything. Okay. Okay, you remember how you set this? You make this sure that that's yep, in the middle. Get that in the middle and get that loose. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna compress these two springs. Let's see if you so like stout this? enough to squeeze them together. These? Yep. No. Hey, they. I, I get it. They're pretty tight. The trigger. Okay. Now that thing's set. All right. Okay. This will give you a good idea of a starting point. And then this goes on here too, right? Correct. That one. And then it goes all the way down. And this gets wedged in between. This point is on the little Is Way to get yourself caught in it. Like that. You wouldn't laugh if that went off on my hand, would you? No. Let's adjust this down just a little bit. Okay. How far down will this go into? It'll go down deep as we want to put it. Okay. Alright, let me reset mine. Walk down here to the water. And like I said yesterday, I picked this out a couple spots. It might have changed a little bit, but. Okay. There's probably some professional trappers out there that's going to watch this and be thinking they could give me a tip or two. <laughs> And they probably could. You know, there's a lot, lots of improvements in trapping over the years. These handy little right. guide stakes are one of them. Oh. All right. 
Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Just walk over here and if I start popping places. Green stuff. Yeah. Looks like it's down at the Buffet Bar. Mm -hmm. That's where they pull up here and they rake that green stuff that's growing in against the bank. They rake that out and they eat the roots. That's why the greens are still laying there. The muskrats do. Yep. So they only eat the roots? They eat the roots. I'm sure they eat a little bit of the greens, but you can see most all the greens are here. And you can see part of the white on it. Yeah. They 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 clip it and eat it as they go. Hmm. Do they like the cold water? They don't really. They're built to be in it. So you see this little spot, this little pocket right here? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna put mine in right there. Okay. Then we're gonna walk over and I'm gonna show you where to, where to put that one you got. You want me to get on the other side? Where are you? Do you want to? So you put it right next to the bait? You put it right like that so that they have to go through it, okay? Because they're going to run. And the water's not deep enough for them to go They're going to run this edge. Right. They're going to be working and run right through between here and the bank. Right on through there. So he won't be expecting that. He's already been going through there, so he doesn't think anything's going on. So that'll be a good little blind set, okay? Okay. Is that all you do? That's it. Hmm. Right there. This one's easier than the one we set the other day. Oh, yeah. And then we'll, I'll show you how to make a, a slope set. And you see right here where they're going. See how this bends it up a little? Yeah. Well, somewhere, I've got an idea that they're coming in and out. Probably right there. Okay. See the bank down under here? Mm-hmm. Now, we're not going to set it just because I think the most use is right there where it's really deep. Okay. in that old beaver run so neither one of us has got the boots for the stepping off in that but we've got a good spot right here i'm gonna let you take your pick of places one is right there yep and the other is right here now you see the greenery yeah see, see? They work right through here. I like that one. You like that spot? It's pretty yeah. tight. Make a good spot. So you want to push your trap in. You want to go in between here and here or right here? Uh, probably the tree. Okay. I think that's what I'd choose to. All right. Kind of get that over against the tree as far as you can. And turn it, yep, just like that. Turn it with the tree. Like this? Yep, just like that. And push it out? Yep. How far? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. Okay. All right. Now, take this stick and block this see how it turns yeah okay push that stick right down through here and try to lock that here yep and we'll try to lock that okay. yep can you get it going down in there and lock it in and push there you go more yeah if you can go a little more 
Okay. Pretty okay. rigid now. Oh yeah. Now you can hit it and that'll do him in right there. Okay. Let's just put a little block over top just to kind of oh, they can't really kinda make it much. make it a tunnel. Okay, that's two here and we'll put a little floater over there. And then down on that end by the wood duck box is where they're going in and out. I think that's the major oh, den. Oh, where we saw it last time? Yep, remember okay. the water was muddied up? Yeah. But they're they're coming down here and working these, whatever this little, the green whatever one. that little plant is. They're digging it and working it pretty hard, so. What was the truck we did the other day called in the culvert? Well, we set that for a mink, but it was a little Conibear 110 just like this, but it was a drowner. So that one doesn't snap through your head? Same, same or... works all the same. It's oh. just a little bit different setup. So we'll work our way back over there and get another trap. I'd like to have one there so we'll wire a drowner. One of the stakes. I'll walk it out there and set the trap on it, and we'll bait it with a little bit of lure. Okay. And he gets up on up on that to go to the bathroom. Okay. That's a toilet. They climb up on something that's out of the water to use the bathroom, kind of like a swamp rabbit. Hmm. So we'll set one up on the toilet and bait it. Okay. Probably wouldn't have to bait it, but I found a little bit of Dobbin's muskrat lure, so we'll put a little of it out. You know, one you, thing about it, it'll be an attractive. Do you use these for that too? Use this one. Okay. The muskrats don't weigh very much, mm -hmm. so it doesn't take much to uh, keep them up. to keep them down. That trap will weight them down and drown him. Is that heavy? Well, it's heavy enough to to drown him. We don't need to put him on a slide. We just need to know whatever he's connected to. He can't pull up. And I think that these, one of these stakes will be, be clean. Snap your fingers in one of these ones? Oh, yes, I have. It's, it's not pleasant. Which one takes the most? Well, I caught myself in the 160 one. And numerous times I've caught myself in these one in hand. That 160 probably hits the knife and cold that way too, like this. Yeah. Okay. It got my attention. How old were you? Well, I was an adult. You hold the lure. This seems to be floating freely. So let's get it hung up. Looks like there's some sticks underneath the surface. Some what? Some sticks and stuff, and there's a root by your foot. Oh, you hear that? This is the end, Daddy. Put all the rocks in. <laughs> Isn't the tire somewhere over here? Hmm? Isn't the tire somewhere over here? Yeah. Will he notice that it's different? Hmm. 
I don't think he will, since it's a floater. I think it's probably been changing it around enough that, and it probably moves too when he gets on it, so. You think your tongue is stuck? I can. Not willing to try it. Are you? No. It's gonna make a pretty good little bed. So how's this one? All right, this one. When he climbs up here, or from out there in the water. It's a kind of a blind set deal again. Mm -hmm. But what happens is he comes, swims up, and he comes up here to go to the bathroom, set and rest, whatever. When he gets up here on this, we're going to put a little bait right here. So he's going to get interested in it. He's either going to come up here over that trap here or here and if it's if we've got it secure enough if we had a little tack we could tack it but we want him to get in it and fall off in the water and then this he won't be able to pull it out so he'll drop in the water and the trap will drown you okay what happens if he doesn't fall off with the trap and then he'll what be sitting he there just... waiting on us to get him in the morning and then you'll just have to kill him yep If you'll so get me, get me a little of that, that grass there. Is this good? Is that water cold? Yeah, it's cold. Okay. Now as long as Mr. Coon don't waddle out and swim out there to check that out. Let me check him. So that will catch him? Huh? That will catch him? Oh, it'll catch a coon. Problem is, where are we gonna find him? You know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's three on this end. Let's put two on that end. That'll be about what we need out. Okay. And if they move tonight or in the morning, we'll have a basic cut. See the slick, clear spot on the bottom? Yeah, the mud? Yep. Okay, that's where they're coming out and they're hanging the bottom in and out. Okay. Muskrats, see they're smaller. They're only going, they're going to shoot in and out right here on the bottom pretty good. See where they've carried out the ways? Yeah. And then they take off, come up, take off swimming. Mm-hmm. Well, there, it was muddy right under that yesterday. Okay. So they I assume, straight out. yep, I assume that's a den hole this is a den hole, but I got to get in the water to find them. I remember Pistol was digging one day over here. Yeah, and I think, yeah, Pistol knows they're in there. He was, he was after them yesterday. I think what I want to do 
before I get it all tore up and muddy. You're gonna be able to get to the traps to help me. Me? To hand them to me. Yeah. Yes. All right, right there's the run. Daddy looks a little concerned, like that water might get up in Ooh. his boots. I had some earlier, and it was cold. <laughs> and the creek back in the woods. Oh, look at there. That's where that one goes in. So there's one for sure. Something might grab a hold of that and pull it look, in. And that one right there is a high, a high one that goes in. So is there gin full of water or no? It water in so far. So right how can there they... seems to be a real good spot. This must have been the beaver. How can they stay in there? But right there is the muskrat hole. It's got like an air pocket once you get back in there. So we're going to put one right there and block him. Okay. And we're going to put one right out there. So what about this one right here? Go ahead and hand me one. Now this one's a little bit trickier out here. I think I can see it. But he's going in and out of the roots. We're going to go in right here. I don't like that. I'm hanging under that. That's it. Right. I think that'll get that one. You want the next one? Yep. I should have put on my, my gauntlets and reached down in there and made sure, but I think it's good. As soon as he comes out, you got him. Yeah. So when you check these, do you me, just pull it out? Me, uh, have we got any beaver chomp sticks? Um, Here's one your foot's on. I think would work. What? Your one you had your foot on one right there that would work. This old stop right here. You want another one? Yeah, let me start with this one. I think that one did it. I, I think my whole. Are you down? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was pushing this. <laughs> the ice is slick, isn't it? Trap her down. No. I was breaking the saw. Are you going to get mad when I tell you now I don't need it? No, I'm still trying to get it out. Okay. How many traps you got left, Trevor? Uh, I have two traps and only one rod. Two traps and one rod. Well, let's load that. Load that one rod. Okay. If I fall in this pond, core, we'll have it on. They better not be have it laughing. recorded. mother go into that revenant quiver like she did when she watched the revenant with me it's so cold it's so cold okay so he went this big this one has a bigger one okay so 
we don't want to go down all the way yet. That way. I believe you're getting the hang of this. Now hold it. Will you need the beaver chop? I don't know. We're going to try to find this out here. Another little tight spot. Like we did on the very first one. Yeah, ones. where they're going through it. Oh, whoop. Always just stay up much too much. All right. Okay. Pick you a spot. We know that they're using those those holes. So remember, these muskrats, although they'll take to that open water, mm -hmm. when they're feeding, they're focused on that bank, digging and pulling those roots out and eating roots, and they're working right down a bank. So like we did down there, other than the toilet set, uh, they're gonna follow the bank line. So you're looking for a spot like you set yours in down there against that little persimmon tree. If there's trees like over it, like over there, would that be bad? No, you just you just want a tight spot about that big okay. where they're working the bank. So let's go that way. See if you can find something. About eat all the roots on this side right here around the den. Hey, you know what? Yeah, unless you found something that looks better, we can make a pocket set right here. A what pocket set? Grab your bait. Bait. Maybe right there to come down. Where? Is it deep? Oh, you see what I'm saying, man. Now, here's your trap. Yep. I got the bait. And I got my fish water. Alright. So, what we're going to do, we'll just make a blind set for one of them. Okay. And we're going to mash this out a little deeper. Okay. We're going to make him like a little run. Mm -hmm. He'll think one of his homies been coming in and out right there and made maybe and made another entrance into the, into the little villa there. So I'm going to put a little bait back up in under here on a stick. Uh-huh. See how Mr. Dobbins' baits are working out here. Put a little of that right there. Do you put it on the actual trap or just on the other? I try to put it back up in here on a dry spot. That way it doesn't wash. That way they can smell it. But they can't get to it unless they're going to go through that trap.
All right, work that trap in until it closes that hole 100%. There. Bring it out just a little. You want your jaws to be able to fire. Bring it out a little. Bring it out a little. Right there. Right here. Yep. Now push it right square down. Keep, Keep going. going. Keep going until it hits the bottom. You on bottom? I think so. Okay. All right. Now if we had a little bit of. There's some. Mm -hmm. Need just a little bit of overhang here. How about that? Looks good. I think he's blocked. That'll be a good, good little area. For does it him. work also if they're coming into it? Like, does it work? Oh yeah, either way. Both ways. Either way. Let's say for whatever reason that ended up being a travel route into the dip. Uh huh. And he clears it. Maybe he had it brushed up for cold weather. I don't know. I don't. I'm not a muskrat. But let's say it, it was just kind of keeping stuff back, and he comes out of it. Clears it. Comes out of it. It'll get him if he's out here working, he smells that bait. He'll go in to investigate, if nothing else, because I've muddied it up in there. Mm -hmm. He'll go in and check it out, and we'll catch him. So when you check him, do you just pull that, that up to check yeah, it? Yeah, you'll be able to see him. He'll be right here. He won't go nowhere. Okay. Same so like he won't be two. back in there. Right. We'll be able to look and go, yep, nope, yep, nope. Same with down there. Everything we set today... As long as those those dogs don't freeze, if we don't get rain on them and those dogs don't freeze, they'll fire. Okay. So we're ready for that. That's, I think that's enough traps for now. Okay. There may only be four or five in here. 